hello and welcome to this little hair tutorial I haven't done a hair tutorial in ages I think I've only actually done one on YouTube but you guys seem to like it so I'm gonna do another one this one is for a 90s updo which I did for a shoot a while ago and loads of people asked about it so it's this look here I'm gonna put in a photo and yeah it's really cute it's actually not that hard to do it's very fun to do for this look you will need quite a few products I use the Shea Moisture Curl and Hot Sweet Smoothie very random that I would use it for this but trust me Eco Styling Gel um, Hairspray I use the L Net one just classic Stronghold Tools wise, you need like uh, one of these um, comb things with like the spiky thing. A little bristle brush, you can get them on Amazon. You need these non-slip hair ties, little clear ones. These grips, I just got them from Boots. And I got the non-slip hair ties from Boots as well. You will also need hair ties. I've been loving the thin ones. I've been using multiple thin ones. So yes, my hair is, I haven't washed it in a week basically, I washed it last Wednesday and it's Tuesday now, so it's like super greasy, which is perfect for this. Let's just get into it. So as you can see from the photo, which I'll put here again, she's got like little, little tiny ponytails in the front and then the rest is like an updo. So we need to section off the front section so that we can tie it. I'm just going to sort out my parting again to get that in a straight line because my hair is already so greasy <laughs> I don't actually need to put as much product in as I otherwise would it should hold its shape um, so it's up to you how far back you want the like little ponytails to go I'm gonna go for around halfway down my parting and I'm just going to section it off and the section is going behind my ear so that when it's like that it includes a bit from around my ear to kind of snatch my face up so just gonna... so here you can see the two sections I'm going to pin that back like that, just to keep it out of the way. Then I'm just gonna match that section on the other side. And I'm literally just going straight down. You can use any clips to just section these bits away. I think I'm gonna tie them up as well. Already looking very cute, clearly. So yeah, I've got the front bit. <laughs> I've got the front bits now. So I'm just gonna tie away the back. Now, you can do as many little ponytails in the front as you want. I liked, I think the girl um, in the photo has like one in the middle and then, so she has five, but I'm just gonna do six, three on each side. Cause I quite like having a center parting. But that is completely up to you. So you want to just divide this into three sections. Up to you whether you do them equal size or not. But you want the lines to be really clean in between each one. So that's going to be one. And what I'm going to do is just temporarily twist it and pin it. So I can keep it out of the way. So there's the first one. Then I've got this bigger section here, which I'm just gonna split into two. So although that's pretty good, it's not very clean. You want it to be like super, super clean because it just makes the whole thing look way neater. Okay, that's good. So again, I'm just gonna twist it, pin it temporarily. And then that's the third section there. I'm looking very tapped at the moment, but it will all be <laughs> fine. So these are my three sections. One, two, three. 
and I can start um, gelling them now. So because my hair is greasy, I'm actually not going to put in the um, Shea Moisture product, but if my hair didn't already have that kind of slickness, I would put some of this in. It's um, used to like set curls, but it's just good for like holding shape before you put in your gel. I'm just gonna go straight into the gel. So I've just got some gel and I'm just working it through the whole bit, the whole section. Then I'm gonna take my bristle brush and starting with the, the coarser side first. Just brushing through that gel, brushing from my face into the ponytail. Now I feel like that's nice and gelled. I'm gonna get one of my little hair ties. These can be a bit tricky to get used to at first. I like to stretch them out a bit first, then put them between three fingers. Then I'm gonna brush with the softer side of my bristle to get it super smooth. And then I'm going to tie the hair tie. So you can you can tie it so that the hair tie ends up here. I'm going to tie it more towards the back so that it kind of flows into my bun. And you can pull on different bits of the hair after to kind of move it around as well. Then I'm just gonna pull it um, to tighten it like you would a ponytail. And we have the first section. Um, looking very good. So if I wanted to pull the hair tie more back, then I would pull on one of the pieces of hair like on the underside to get that going back. But that looks good to me. Okay, we've got the first section. We do the second section now. Getting hair gel. Putting it through, including baby hairs, to get it all going back. Brushing it through. done my second section, I'm going to do my third, so there I have my first three sections, I'm happy with those, they look good, okay I'm going to show you again, <laughs> I can't move on the slides, I'm going to show you again on this side because I think it'll be a bit easier to see. I'm gonna try and mirror what's on the other side. You kind of want the sections to be the same on both sides. And then here's number three. Okay, nice. So getting some of my eco styling gel, rubbing it down from the parting up from the face, up this way as well, because those are all the directions that will be like exposed. Brushing it through on the coarser side of the brush and then brushing on the softer side in the direction that you will be tying it. Getting my little hair tie, stretching it out, and then I'm just gonna go in and tie it up. And then what I was talking about earlier about like the way that you pull it affecting where the hair tie ends up. So right now it's like sticking out a bit. I can just, if I just tighten it normally, it will go straight down. But if I pull on one of the strings at the back, it will lie flatter like that, which is what I want. Cause that's going to be going like that. Okay. Second section. I 
opening it. Okay, we have our three sections and now we're going to curl. Did I say at the beginning that you need curlers? I think I forgot to say that, but you need curlers. That was really silly of me to not mention that. But anyway, okay, so to be honest, like this is kind of a look already. You can start to see now where this is going and I am loving it. I use these um, curlers, I think they're Nikki Clark. Yeah, Nikki Clark. Width of curl kind of depends on what you are after. I have tried this hairstyle with like tighter curls and looser curls. For me, I prefer slightly looser curls than like super like wiry tiny ones. And the way that you can kind of decide or the way that you can choose how tight the curls is is by how small the piece of hair that you put in the curl is. So I'm just gonna split my, well, I'm gonna section my hair into half. So I just sectioned that top half and I'm just gonna clip it. I'll just scrunch it just to make it easier to curl. Then I'm gonna split it into two sections brush it out don't have my normal hair brush so I'll just use this the key to having to getting good curls is to brush the hair thoroughly before you only need to curl the ends of the hair because if you look at the photo um it's just the bits that like come out of the top of the like that so curlers are ready I've just then split these, this section into two as well. So it's nice and smooth because I've brushed it. I'm clipping the hair, putting it all the way down and then turning it in on itself. This curler, it has like, <laughs> it's like that and it curls over. So you kind of want to use that as a guide for the start of the curl. Just curl the ends, holding it for a few seconds. Then I'm just gonna release it like that. And it will stay in a little ringlet. I'm actually gonna split this section into two again. I think curlers are actually great and I know a really good way of using them to make it look like you've had a professional blow dry, but that it actually lasts really long because blow dries just don't last very long on me. Like a shape, like a, the shape of the blow dry, like curls or flicks or whatever, because my hair just always ultimately wants to be straight. So I've found a way to do it with curlers that makes it last. So let me know if you would like a tutorial on that. Sometimes it helps to hold the curl. I only release the curler slightly. Going in for the third and final section, I'll show you a close up. Pulling it down and twirling it up, holding for a few seconds mm -mm -mm. and then releasing. So there we have those curls, going to do the same on the other side. For any other um, like if I was curling my hair for anything else, I would like let the curls sit for a bit and then brush them out. But I'm actually gonna leave the ringlets like this because it will help us later. So don't be tempted to brush them out. Keep the ringlets. I'm just gonna go in and do the next section. It's much easier to do this if you section your hair. Last section. So now we're ready to get it up. So just gonna loosen the curl slightly. Basically what I've been really into at the moment, instead of using one thick hairband is to use two thin ones. I don't know why it just keeps it together more. So you can put more gel in the like back half but I'm actually not going to right now I'm just using the bristle brush to smooth into the ponytail and then I'm stopping at the ponytail because I don't want to brush out the curls so 
so I'm just smoothing this section. If I was going out all day, I would definitely gel the like, underside of it. But I'm just working it up to a ponytail now, getting it like really tight. It actually feels kind of smooth. Brushing the underside as well. Now I'm using these two hair ties to tie it in a ponytail. Nice and tight. I always pull weird faces when I'm tying a pony. Okay, now I've got my ponytail. I'm tightening it. Always, I mean, I'm sure you know this already, but if you pull here and here, it really snatches the face. Okay, now I've got my ponytail. Actually, it looks very cute, like this. But we're going to stick it in a bun. So, there's different ways to do a bun. I always like to back brush first to get a bit of volume because my hair's not super thick and I quite like a thick bun. Okay, so I've back brushed it a bit just to give it like that texture. Okay, now you can do like a twisty bun, you know, like that. You can do like what I usually do, which is like, it's hard to explain. Don't worry about it. But what I'm going to do today is a trick I learnt from Matilda Jeff, which is you split it into two pieces, you tie it in a knot, then depending on your hair length, you can go in for another knot, which I'm going to do because my hair's kind of long. So I'm going in for my second knot. This, I don't know how or why it works, but it just leaves the ends out which you can then move to the front like that. And then you have the curls of the bun. So, obviously it looks a bit crazy right now, just bear with me. Just balancing that on my head for a sec. You're gonna get these grips. Now, I used to do ballet and I used to be able to get the ones that are like that, rather than that. But these ones were the only ones I could find in boots, so I'm just bending them so that they are that shape. And then I'm just gonna start pinning, basically. Pinning the bun down. Don't over open these grips, otherwise they kind of don't hold how you need them to. And I'm just gonna separate the curls and pin them in, basically. Just play around with where you wanna put them. Don't be shy of the pins, they're very useful. And I'm definitely getting there with my little curly prom, prom bun. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> I do feel like I'm going to a wedding right now. Okay, so I've, I've pinned it how I want it to look. Um, if there were any other pieces that you felt weren't curly enough or you wanted to just tweak them, you could go in with the curlers to touch up. But I would say that's pretty perfect. But like little bonuses, I would definitely hairspray, just go for it all over to really like set the bun, set the curls. And then I've got these little clips from Forever Amira, I got them on Depop. I had blue ones and I've lost them, but I've got these red ones. And I'm just gonna pop them on the um, little plastic hair ties to cover them up. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fix this camera, but just to kind of accessorize them. And there you have it. This is my Christmas. <laughs> I don't know why, but it just feels very Christmassy. So here are the, um, the clips. I hope that's showing up. But yeah, this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. Definitely try and recreate this. Tag me in it, message me. I wanna see your guys' take on this as well. It's such a fun one to do and it's perfect for, obviously when you have greasy hair and you're going out and you just want your hair out your face. And it really just kind of lifts the face as well, which I love. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and hope you have a lovely rest of your day.